Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Star Sector. So the other day we actually started our new game and we got ourselves a fleet of four wolf ships and also a shuttle. So we're actually going to go and do one of those advanced bounties I was mentioning last episode, which is over in the Siren Nebula. So we've got to try and hunt down, what's this guy's name? Isa Wells, who's somewhere in this region. Which you wouldn't say, apparently he's near a barren world with a giant primary star, which is probably going to be one of these. I don't know what one that's going to be. We're just going to go over here. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, so we're going to head right away. If I just leave the system, I have bought some fuel and stuff between episodes so we can easily travel between systems. You never know, there might be some pirates lurking around here, actually. Should we check? There's no pirates here, never mind. <laughs> it's always a good idea to check, you never know. Okay, let's do this. Sustain burn, go! Now, as I mentioned before as well, you have no idea how dangerous hyperspace is going to be. We can literally just be destroyed by a rogue fleet or anything. You never know. So hopefully we'll be okay and we get to our target without being destroyed. I do like like the, uh, it's not really a mini game, is it? I'm having to try and avoid all these nebulas and stuff and these storms. It's pretty cool. We're probably already nearly there anyway because it's quite fast to travel around the map. Okay, it's around here. I feel like it might be this system. Oh, don't go into that. That was a close one. A barren planet. I reckon it's here. What can go wrong, everybody? What can go wrong? <laughs> now, as this is a bounty target, if we do... There's someone here. Okay, I got it on the first try. Are we ready for this? If we kill this guy, I think we make like 40 grand or something. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's not him at all. Barren rolls over there. These are remnant fragments. They're kind of like a crazy AI race, which they're not really a faction. They're kind of like rem remnants of an ancient AI. Ooh, I think we found the guy, everybody. I think we found the target. Hello there. We got him. We got him. Okay, so this is actually going to be the first battle we've done with a meet like a bigger ship. So they've got a they got a big combat freighter, which may not sound that dangerous to you, but it is a pretty scary if you haven't got a good uh, amount of ships. So I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's do this. Engage my navy. Look at how many wolves we have. <laughs> Clearly, I might like one ship a bit too much here. Uh, also, as we have our new weapons as well, we should be a lot better at killing people. There it is right there. I'm going to go for it right away. This poor wolf. <laughs> I destroyed his engines as well. This poor man. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, don't crash into me, buddy. <laughs> Danger close, man. Back off, back off. Okay, one of my guys is having a bit of trouble there. I'm going to start working on, I think, the shuttle first, and then all of us can go and kill that big freighter ship. Ah, oh, I thought it was me. You can shoot down missiles of, like, random shots sometimes. It's pretty cool when you do. Like that. There you go. <laughs> I was like, I'll just give it a shot. Why not? So you may notice the weapon I have now is a little bit less damage than the oh, than the other mining laser I had before, but it does do a lot more um, damage overall. It's just less than one hit. Oh, these missiles are so annoying. Be gone, missile! Oh no! <laughs> the wolf pack will destroy all. Okay, one of me left. Ooh. I may have accidentally crashed into that ship there. It's totally fine. Now, this might take a little bit of time because this is a big ship, but if we overwhelm it, we should be okay. I have no idea where that missile's going. Yeah, there's no way you can kill this by one-on-one -on -one because it's, its shield is too much. Oh, look at all these little wolves pecking away. <laughs> the chip damage. I love how the AI just spreads out and we just like, we're just sw swarming on a target here. Oh, that's a bit bright, everybody. My, my eyes. <laughs> my, I'm blind. Good job, everyone. Good job. Okay, that was a quick and easy battle. Uh, we'll pick for the wreckage, and we should just make loads of money. Now, I don't think... Oh, we, we found one of these large ballistic guns. The imposing medium-range autocannon. Very scary weapon. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't get paid... Oh, you get, you get paid right away. Sorry. You have to be in comms range sometimes to actually get um, rewards. But we must have been nearby our comms tower. Um, so yeah, we just made 40 grand just like that. We've, <laughs> we're now rich. Well, I say rich. We're not really rich at all. Uh, but we have more money than before. Now, I kind of want to have a quick look around. Is there anything... Because this is a, a system that's not inhabited. 
There might be some random stuff there, you never know. There might be some crazy, um, like, ruins or something. If we just do some scanning quickly. Actually, let's go... I can't see anything on sensors. Because you never know, you might find, like, a derelict ship with, like, some advanced uh, blueprints or, like, an ancient cache or something. You never know. You can also... We can't do it yet because I haven't got the stuff for it. But if you can actually survey planets, you can find out what's inside them. Um, what was this? Your sensors officers frown at a blinking indicator. Captain! There appears to be a faint signal coming from low orbit. Ooh. They put a detailed scanner's transmission source to the primary bridge display, an orbital nav grid overlaid with icons of telemetry. This transmission is very weak. We only picked it up as a survey array ran through its calibration cycle. It looks like there's an automated instrument package. Oh. The point low orbit. Ooh, power source is degraded. Let's go and look, shall we? Uh, what does this say? A call of voice. I don't know, do I want to read all this? Oh, I'll read some of it. Meant, <laughs> meant at the Galactic Academy. If found, I implore you to return the data core to the Academy for a reward of £18,000. Why would you leave this? It's free money. <laughs> you just literally get free money. Ooh, do we want to... We have a choice here. We have a choice. We can be a nice boy and take it back to the Academy or we can open it. Um, do you know what? We're we we just take the we just take the call. We're gonna give it back to him because if we get a friend, you never know. He might give us jobs in the future. You know, it's about contacts. Return the data call to the Galactic Academy in the Galactica system. Um, okay, fair enough. So as I, as I was about to say before, I went into a little divergence there. You can actually go into the survey view. You can actually survey planets. Now, you can actually. Um, if you're lucky, each, each planet has like different stats and stuff, like it has hazard rating, which is kind of like how hard it is to live here, of course. Um, and also accessibility is like how easy it is to get like trade. So if you go out exploring and you find a really amazing planet, you can colonize it and you can create your own like little space empire. It's really, really cool system. Uh, but of course, we're not going to be doing this because <laughs> we need, what was it? Loads of, you need like loads of crew, loads of uh, heavy machinery, loads of supplies. We've not got any of that, so it's not going to work out. Okay, so we have a little extra mission we've picked up from um, the game itself, just randomly giving me a mission. So, where are we trying to go? Missions. Return the Galactic... Co oh, it's so far away. Also, we... Uh, we're a bit... <laughs> the... Um, we can only just reach the colonized systems, or we were going to have no fuel. <laughs> so... Luckily, we picked up some fuel from that combat, or we would literally be stuck in, which would be a disaster. But we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, because if you get stranded, you can either get sat, you just, you stop moving, and you drift towards the nearest gravity well. Um, and you, of course, once you're there, you can like, uh, send a distress signal out, or you can try and sca scavenge some stuff. Actually, before we leave, we should, let's have a quick look around anyway. So there's some of these ancient ships here. These are dormant. They, these are not very dangerous, these ones. These are the very low level alien, not alien, uh, robot ships. They're not really a big danger, uh, but they, they can become extremely powerful. Uh, when you find some bigger ones. If we go over here, because normally if there's a system that's something worth it, like ancient ruins or something, there will be a lot of those everywhere. Now, as this is like a random, like, non-dangerous place, there's like a few running around, but it's not like a big presence. Okay. Nothing here. I'm going to check these planets in case there's another event. No. But I said we're not going to survey for now, because I need a big, a big support fleet for that. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> that was not the right button. What am I doing? Also, as you can kind of see here, actually, uh, there's stable locations. So, I will go over that later. But you can basically, you can build, like, system, like, relays, nav beacons, that kind of stuff in the system to give you bonuses to a colony. Nothing here, okay. Yeah, these guys are not dangerous at all. I would not even say there's probably much point in trying to kill them, to be honest. I guess we can find just to have a look what they look like. Yeah, we'll have a look at them. We'll have a look at them. Let's do this. Move in to engage. So if you kill enough of these guys, you might eat... Actually, we don't, probably don't need our entire force. So let's just deploy me and the officers so they can get experience. You can actually um, find like, AI calls, which you can use to like run your colony better. And also, I think there's a perk they added recently. So you can actually capture these ships and run them through AI, which is really cool as well. But I said, these are all robots. Let's try and get ourselves good. That's a very long range. This is a very annoying ship. It won't do much to you normally, but because it's just annoying you, you can't really like stay around with your shields off and stuff. I'm trying to get over here, but there you go. 
Oh, he's got things like I do. Oh, I got through it as a little shield thing there. Oh, he's still... He's, he, I'm getting shot in the arse, everybody. Oh, he's a bit annoying, actually. This guy is really annoying down there. Can we, um... I'm going to get one of my guys to attack that guy so he's not hitting me in the arse with his laser beams. <laughs> We've got to be very careful here, because of course it only takes one hit to kill us, really. From that, that will kill us. Nope, 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 nope. It doesn't do a lot of damage against shields, luckily. I love the point defense in this game, it's so cool. I look forward to later on when we get like the big flat turrets, right? Battlestar Galactica, and they just shoot the missiles at the air. Dude, wh where are you, buddy? Come and help me. Let's try and uh, slow our retreat down a little bit. There he is, he's in range now. We should get some backup. Okay. I kind of miss him trying to like lock onto me if I keep moving. Oh, that one got me. <laughs> oh, I got the hit in there. Beautiful. Okay. That's a <laughs> laser bounce, everybody. Who's gonna. I think my friend needs some help, actually. Let's get down quickly. I got you, buddy. I got you. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't really. Oh, they got laser shippers. There's two laser ships. I'm going to help this guy first. This guy really needs help. If we go right around the back of him, he needs to start responding to one of us. There you go. Now, hopefully my friend can recharge and get back towards me. You see, these ships are very annoying. So if you imagine you have these little ships with a, like a larger fleet of support, you would be in trouble. Nice. We should be okay, though, because my friend's coming back. There you go. You can't defend against both of us. Unless you can, because I miss. Uh, <laughs> nice. That's why um, having more ships is very useful, because you don't get overwhelmed. Don't mind me, friend. I'm just going to sit here. Where's my friends? I'm trying to get all the way around on the back of it. There you go. This, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. There's no chance. Beautiful. There is actually smart enough as well that if it's like got one side with an enemy that's weaker, it will lose its shields to the enemy with more firepower. Because it means it might it might survive. Uh, nice, we'll take all this. Also, we got loads of fuel, so yeah, we're sorted. We can now easily fly back to our territory. Okay, so where did they say it was? Uh, Gallica or something? It's there. Can we reach that location? Oh, this is brand new. I read about this. I read about some kind of like, um, I don't know what it's called. I guess it's kind of like a hyper lane in hyperspace. It's like additional speed if you go over it. I've not seen one. Should we quickly go and have a look at it? I just want to see it. I'm not actually going to use, oh, actually we quickly go into it. Yeah, look at this. How cool is this? Like a jet stream. So right now I'm going 18 speed. How fast is this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's fast. Wait, I, I, I fell out of it. Ooh, 25. That's really fast. Yeah, we don't want to be... We can get swept away here. Look how big this map is, though. It's immense. <laughs> it's so big. Um. Okay, so... Ah, I was on about this earlier. So, you know, I was on about, like, um, there being places that are dangerous. There's warning beacons that show, show you those dangerous locations, like here. So, this is, a, like, a low-level danger location. So, there might be some, like, cool ruins here. Actually, you can't see here. Yeah, it just says it's a warning. It's not very safe here. So we're going to... We're warping. Have a look. I'm going to say in case we die. <laughs> and we're escape. That's not bad. There's something near the sun. So when I do sensor burst, like I said, the sensor range goes massively. So if you look at the top bottom right here, if I do it again... Oh, give me a few seconds. Sorry, give me, a, give me a little bit. If you do it again, you can see long range radars picking up something by the sun. So you got to try and keep an eye on... It's basically like a... It's a proper space game, everybody. <laughs> you got to keep an eye out for like signals. And this might... I think this is a... Oh, it's a debris field. If we go into it... I don't know what that pop-up said. You can actually scavenge. And you can see what's here. Uh, assess. Oh, we were... Hmm. Because we haven't got enough machinery, there's a chance we might have issues here. 
I feel like we want to not do this for now. We'll have a look around the rest of the system. And what we'll do, we might luckily, if we're lucky, get some more heavy machinery. And then we can do it without a debuff. So there's two, three things here. Oh, an orbital habitation system. So these are dormant, these fleets. They're not actually dangerous. There's some pods. Let's have a look. Harvested organs. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> that's not brilliant. So harvested organs are an illegal substance. They sell for 300 pounds per unit, but you need to use sell them on the black market. So you might get in trouble if you get caught doing that. Uh, oh, there, there are enemy fleets here, but there's only one so far. So that's, oh, it's attacking me. Are you sure about that, buddy? <laughs> okay, Norm they don't normally do that. They normally wait for backup. I'll tell you what, we can probably auto-resolve this one. Oh, that wasn't... Oh, I, didn't, oh, I made a mistake. I, I was meant to auto-resolve. I completely messed it up. Uh, let's just send me and someone else in. Two of us should be easy. We just go around the back of them. Yeah, normally the uh, the AI specifically will try and keep in contact range of you until backup arrives, and then it will attack you in one group. Ooh, he's a close range guy. And also, I think because it's blue, I think, yeah, he's mostly got... Yeah, the three of his weapons, these blue ones, they're all ion damage. You can you, um, can you get over here, buddy? <laughs> he's a bit slow, isn't he? If I keep doing this, we'll be fine. <laughs> he hasn't really got a lot of options here, because I'm just keeping out of his range with my speed. Yeah, he's nice. This guy's got no chance. That's why I wanted to auto resolve this one, because it would have been a pretty easy battle. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's... Nice. Good job, everybody. Good job. Nice and, nice and organized battle there. Ah, oh, so we get some more heavy machinery. We'll take everything anyway. We might have to dump this at some point. This is just it's literally just metals. It's not very worth very much money. So we just have it because we can. Oh, I leveled up. And so did Gamal. Ooh. Gamal. Gamal. Okay, so we got some skills. I kind of want to get a movement skill so we can move faster. But wait, what else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, armor damage taken. Whole damage taken, shield damage. This one's kind of useful because it means 25 minus 25 percent flux generated by active phase close. Oh, that's not what I think it is. Sorry. Oh, was well, the elite version of it's better one. Sorry. So elite version, you start to um, if you get hard flux, which is a certain damage type, it will not go down without the shields being turned off. But this means that you always have some kind of passive uh, flux um, regen, which is very handy in long big combat. I don't think I need any of this, to be honest. Ah, oh, integrated targeting units are very, very useful for ballistic weapons. But as we're using energy right now, it's not going to be a big deal. I want to pick... I want to pick... What are these other skills? Um, Tactical drills. It's like you get some kind of buff. They've changed a lot of these skills, everybody. They seem to have changed quite a lot of things here. Coordinating maneuvers. Oh, okay, interesting. I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll quickly look through these myself, and then when I decide what we want to pick, I'll explain what it does. Because uh, these are all quite cool stuff, really. Like this one here. This one's very useful. For plus 15% maximum combat readiness for combat ships. As I mentioned before, combat readiness, if it goes below 50%, you lose, you have a chance of malfunctions, but the inverse is correct as well. Where if it goes above 50%, your ship becomes more tuned and its abilities are enhanced, so you have faster speed and stuff. Um, I feel like out of all of these, though, sensor range, I'm probably going to go with this one. So this one is plus six percent to nav rating of fleet for deployed frigates. Um, so basically, what this does is it makes all your ships faster depending on how many ships you've got. Um, oh, it says right there: the total nav rating for deployed ships of the fleet increases the top speed of all ships in the fleet up to a maximum of twenty percent. So that does mean that all my ships could, in theory, move twenty percent faster. Which is a massive bonus, because of course, if you move faster, you can attack quicker, you can retreat quicker, you can move quicker. Speed is the key here. So we're going to go for this one for sure, which should give us quite a big bonus here. I think that's a good find, if you ask me. Uh, let's quickly check here. Nothing here. Okay. 
I'm going to go and... Because if I get some combat, I can then maybe... We, we, if we don't find anyone, we'll come back and kill those two dormant fleets there. There's another debris field here. Ah, we can do this one. Perfect. Begin savage operation. Nice. We'll take that. I'd rather have... The thing is, this is weird. <laughs> supplies are actually worth more. Because supplies are what you need to repay your ships and stuff and maintain them. They're worth more than this random metal thing. So <laughs> I'd rather not have that. I, I didn't realise that there was like random events like the gas giant ones. So I'm going to check every planet we go near about. Just to make sure... Okay, there's one more planet and we'll loop back around. Yeah, after this we'll head back to the... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, another base. Okay, this guy wants to fight. Now, if we move quickly towards him, we can probably attack all of these units in one go. Oh, wait, why is his friend not helping? Ah, oh, weird. <laughs> there's going to be another fleet attacking us there, but for some reason the other guy didn't want to help out. Okay, who's dangerous here? We know these guys are like the long range. Well, they might not be long range actually. Ooh, he's got the iron fit. Keep my distance. Yes, yeah, so you see in the bottom left now. Oh, you can actually see we have plus 18% speed bonus because of that perk I got, which means everyone's really fast now. Like I said, this game has got very good AI. If your AI has better um, stats like this, like more speed, they're going to do a lot better in combat. I'm being a bit cautious here because it only take one hit for me to actually be turned off, so we've got to be a little bit careful. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing a good job here, am I, with actually hitting enemies, though? Oh, fr friends are showing up. Oh, I got through a shield there. I think he might have tried to change his shield to stop that missile, but then I fired at the same time. Help me, brother! One more hit, should be good. Oh, I love how the, the fleets are so good at this. We, 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 we're smashing it, we're smashing it. This is all very low-level stuff, though, bear in mind. This is not um, high-tier stuff at all. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, we have way too much fuel. <laughs> I need to get... When we, do this, when we come back out here again, I'll have to get, like, a little cargo ship and also I get a little fuel ship as well. So we can be more efficient in these, because giving losing the stuff's pretty sad, really. Oh, I forgot my guy leveled up. Brother, I forgot you leveled up. Let's have a look. Uh, what am I trying to do? What am I doing? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm trying to find. I've forgotten where it is, everybody. I'm having an awful time at the moment. Let's have a look. Fleets. There it is. Okay, my guy's leveled up. So I think you can level up to a certain level, and also I think you can also respect people now as well. You couldn't use you didn't used to be able to respect people in the past. So let's level him up. He's got a bunch of different skills he can pick. Okay, so we got more damage with ballistic weapons, which he's not using. Um, more damage to large ships. Two plus two fluctuation per ordnance point spent on weapons. That could be that's a new. I've not I've never seen this skill before. Interesting. And also, impact mitigation. Now, in the long run, this guy is probably going to be given a bigger ship. So I think we want to go for target analysis, so he does more damage against larger ships. Because we keep if these officers survive, we'll keep them with us, and then we'll give them the bigger ships as we get them as well. Uh, nice, I'll take that. Yeah, that shit, this is like, we're not going to help you, sorry. <laughs> anyway, now I've done that, I actually have enough resources now to probably do some large... Oh, he's got... Oh, there's something defending the station. This is a bigger ship. Now, also, drone ship. Is it the type of drone ship I think it is? No, it's not, sorry. There's some that actually have drones, but this is not one of those. We're going to move in and engage. We're going to need everybody for this one, I think, because this is going to be a big ship. Hopefully we don't get killed, <laughs> but we can find some amazing. You get like you can get you can find like advanced resources and like blueprints here, which is be amazing if we find some of that right away. Okay, for now I want everyone to avoid that middle ship. I'm gonna take it together at the end.
Oh wait, when I say avoid, are they avoiding it too much? <laughs> I think they're, they're a bit too ag aggressive that they're avoiding. We're put out for harass orders. The so one ship we're going to stay near its range to distract it. And then I'll put two engage orders on these other two so we can try and take these guys down. Okay, perfect. We have to wait a little bit for that ship to show up and harass. Oh wait, it looks like these drone... Oh, oh, wrong button. Oh no, I pressed all the panic. <laughs> I pressed all the wrong buttons there. Oh, be careful, shuttle. You're not very, really, you're not really suited to this one. Okay, good. They, they've they've uh, drawn off one of the enemies to fight themselves. Where's the guy that's going to be harassing the ship, dude? Do your job. <laughs> Harass that ship so I can fight the other ship. Take a nice little pot shot there. <laughs> Take that damage. Oh. What we probably oh okay they switched targets the shuttle's now gonna harass that big target. There you go, it's worked. Cool, thank you. It's funny when like a phase ship tries to escape another phase ship, but I can just phase towards it. <laughs> Whoa, that was a quick missile shot. What's oh, coming back? Also, by the way, once they um, once that happens, when they start flying about an engine, that means they can hit any target, by the way. So they can even hit their friends. Maybe down. Yeah, let's go and kill this other one. L luckily, though, the speed increase we have is quite good. At the nice to do as well. Okay, let's switch this to no order. And we'll just let people engage at their own discretion. Oh, this <laughs> random electrocuted ship flying through space there. Okay, if we do a quick phase jump, I'll probably get a free hit him. Oh, I missed it. This should be quite dangerous if you've got larger ships. If you had like a destroyer or something that can't escape that well, it'd probably hunt it down and destroy it. Oh, that is bright, everybody. That is bright. <laughs> My eyes. Hit through wreckage. Nice. I'll take that. Thank you, game. Oh, we actually found some point defense lasers. I think we needed some of those, didn't we? I think we do. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's get rid of the metals. A lot of experience from that. And now we can salvage this. I'm going to salvage it even though we haven't got enough heavy machinery. We should be fine. Yeah, r r yeah, 100% effective. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> so as I mentioned, we have found ourselves a blueprint. Now, this will not do much for us at this point in the game. But when you create your own um, colony or empire, you can actually build staff, um, not staff factories, shipyards. And they build stuff based off blueprints. So what we've just found is a blueprint for all these ships. Now, this is actually a mid-line blueprint. So it's actually some really good ship designs in this one. You have like low tier, awful tier. Uh, it kind of depends on what kind of race it is. Like you can find the pirate tech and find all the pirate ships. Or you, in this case, we found loads of really high, not high level, like medium, like medium tech uh, ships. For instance, in that list, you've got the Hammerhead class destroyer. That's one of my favorite ships. It's a very, very good ship. And also we got like the Warthog and Gladius fighter wings, which are also very, very cool. So sorry, the hiccup there. <laughs> we're, we're equip this uh, in a second. Uh, for now, take more machinery, get rid of the metals. Luxury goods cost quite a lot of money, but I think I'd rather take the supplies. Yeah, we're getting a bit of a trouble now with the, this is where I wish we had some kind of cargo vessel, everybody, because we are in a bit of a, <laughs> We just lost all this stuff. We need the fuel though, uh, the supplies, because we've taken a lot of damage from the recent combat. Not damage, but the uh, we need to recover our resources, so we're going to lose a lot of supplies. But apart from that though, we got a blueprint. That's worth a lot of stuff, so we we'll definitely take this. Thank you, game. Now, in theory, four hundred day. It's not worth it. So you can try and stabilize cargo, and you can come back and collect it again. But I'm not, I probably want, I don't want to come back here to do exploration. We're, we're going to try to be more of a combat focus this playthrough. So what I'm going to do, I am going to search the next two places. 
I just want to see what's in there and then we move on. So before we do anything else though, let's switch out these point defense lasers for our other friends. Uh, actually, in this situation, let's get rid of this. Switch out the point defense laser. Oh, that's too gap. Oh, that's fine. Wait, I didn't even do that at all. <laughs> there you go, sorted. That ship's good to go. This ship only do exactly the same thing. Now, you can actually do a fit, by the way. I, I probably should explain this last time. So, you can auto fit a vessel based off various, like, presets. Uh, depending on, like, if you're in a shop, the, the game will buy the weapons automatically. Or it'll fit something that's similar. Now, what I can do, if this is the ship fit I normally use, uh, I can actually just say to the AI, just do this. Actually, looking at this, I actually found an iron cannon, which is what I'm using on my main ship, which you, you can use to disable enemy uh, ships. So what I think I might do, I'm going to save this as, not custom, can we change the name somewhere? Yes. We call this the, um, what do we call this? We call it the Saber. Saber Frigate. And we can actually save this as a variant. Done. Now if I go over here and I go to auto fits, I can just tell it to automatically change over to my fit, which is really cool. And also we can have a backup fit as well, which is th this version, which is the laser and the point fence missile. Uh, let's get rid of those. And we can just save this as another fit, because these are really cool, but I, ra I don't like missiles that much, so I don't normally tend to use them. So we'll just call this the, um, I don't know, we'll just call it the wolf frigate. Because it's like, it's got a long range range, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Nice. Okay, so if we can... Oh, it's already got the set fit anyway. Yeah, nice, cool. I'll take that, thank you game. So now we've got two ships with an ion cannon, which, like I said, are very effective against just disabling annoying ships. It's okay, game, don't worry about it. Now, you can, of course, change ships whenever you like. Like I just said then, but it will cost, cost you a lot of money in terms of supplies because we see we're using 11 day right now to try and get our ships refitted. Let's check this to debris field. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, I wasn't much there. Never mind then. Sadness, everybody. Sadness. And we're also going to look at this final outpost and then we head back to civilization after that. Oh, this game is very chill though. I, I do like it, like all the exploration stuff you can do. You can play the game in many, many different ways. Ooh, we found heavy ornaments. Now, these are just a, a commodity you can sell. They sell for 500 pounds each, though. So, that is very good for us. We'll take, definitely take those. Uh, we'll take heavy machinery as well for future exploration. And I think we'll take a little bit more supplies. Very nice, very nice. We probably made quite a lot of money from this, actually. Okay, let's head back to Glasgow. It might be a little bit of a trek because it is quite far away, but we'll be there in no time. What's this? A random thing would be fine. Yeah, so that was a that was a basic level, not level, sorry, like a basic low warning area. So you see, there was some cool stuff there, and of course that blueprint we found is massive for later on in the game. Let's head back over. So there's a lot of things you can do. Like I said, we want to try and focus on combat though. So we keep doing combat missions. We try and fight big bounties, that kind of stuff. So might take a while to get back. <laughs> try and thread the needles here. Ooh. Oh no, it's, it's too much threading. It's fine. We got it. As long as I don't actually go into those storms, we should be okay. Because the storms, of course, make you move faster, but they reduce your uh, combat readiness. So it you supplies. Ah! Now we're back inside our own, the civilized systems, we can actually see those new intel. These there's like apparently there's a bounty nearby over here, so we can do that afterwards. Oh, oh no, 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 no Okay, so apparently the place we need to be is here. So let's have a look inside, and there might be like a little mission guy we can meet. We probably also should also sell the resource. Oh, it happened to appear right next to it. We'll come back to that in a second. We'll go over here first, and let's sell everything. Okay, let's sell some stuff, shall we? I can't sell. Oh, it's illegal to sell heavy armaments. In the oh, it's a black market one. 
We're going to be naughty, everybody. We're going to be a little bit naughty. I think the chance of them catching us with this amount of commodities is pretty low. It's pretty, like, small-scale smuggling, so we'll be fine, right? <laughs> oh, also, there's actually a tariff. You can see here, like, a uh, percent tariff on goods. The black market has no tariff at all, so you can make a lot of money on trading if you trade that way. Um, let's see, everybody. Let's see. Oh, it's the gladius swing I was on about earlier. No, that's not. That's something else. Sorry. That's broadsword. Fight is awesome, by the way. We have to get, we definitely get a carry at some point. Now, uh, let's get ourselves some more fuel. I will also get one more. Oh, there's no heavy ma materials here. That sucks. Let's see what they're saying on the market, shall we? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's quite a few different things here, but not too much. Oh, tugs. Tugs are really cool, by the way. They actually make slow ships move faster by just carrying along with it with its warp drive. So you can kind of increase slow ships with uh, if you've got enough tugs. I don't think I want any of these ships. They're all damaged, as you can see. So I don't really want to buy a damaged ship. It won't be very effective. Look at this tanker, by the way. Oh, my God. What's its fuel capacity? Oh, it's less than it normally is. So normally it's got a fuel capacity of 3,000. That's mad. Currently, our, our entire fleet uses 95. That's insane. Um, oh, look at this. Uh, the Falcon's a great ship as well. The Falcon is a brilliant ship. Now, most of these ships I don't really want because I like going for a quality fleet. So, like, for instance, you can get a light carrier, but it's very slow. I'd rather have, like, a fast, rapid carrier. Um, same thing with, like, this is also a carrier if you want it to be as well. You can also get mods, I think. Um, when I say mods, I mean in-game mods, which you can actually um, use to turn any ship into a carrier as well, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Okay, let's hand in this mission, shall we? The Academy. Ask about returning the data core to Bravas Calacor. Okay. As the mention of Calacor, the junior agent goes suddenly pale and touches their ear, stammering something about or stammering something about an urgent request as they turn and leave. With a sigh, you check your public comms terminal nearby. No entry under the name Calacor. After you query the display locks into a hegemony comsec warning. Okay, great. <laughs> we, we're hacking everybody. We're hacking apparently. You open comms to your flagship and dele uh, delegate the task of finding out what's going on to your comms officer. In short order, they manage to navigate the lower echelons of graduate students to finally speak with someone in a position of authority. The active comms link is routed to your personal interface. Accept the comms request. What does it say? Academican. Elec, sure, why not? <laughs> we'll take that. At your service, Captain. The Academican draws, draws out your presumed title like you've forgotten to serve him biscuits. Is he? What? Oh, sorry, I thought he was saying that to me. I was like, what? It's a weird thing to say to me, sir. Uh, you're certain your comms officer would have mentioned your name. Okay, good for that person. Um, let's see. My name is Fretex. I'm returning a data call to the Bovicus Reward. Okay. Oh, one of those, of course. Your secretary should have just said so. The acad Academian pauses. But then, this would have been Provost Calicors, would it not? He's not the Provost anymore, so I guess he's died or something. Um, Elec's voice deepens with practice gravitas. Not after what happened. Okay, what happened, sir? Oh, it's a lot of text, everybody. It's a lot of text. I'll tell you what. If you want to read this, you can read this, everybody. Uh, I'm not one of those people, though. So we're just going to say, continue. It'll be fine. <laughs> no, I'll skim it. I'll skim it. Um, I'm not going to read out, though, because it's going to take too long. Um, uh... Apparently, he was experimenting with jump points. And he was interrogated by the hegemony, which I presume they said, bad, bad boy. <laughs> bad. Okay, well, I want the reward, sir. That's why I'm here. Ah, I suppose there's... Is, is that? Hmm, I don't recall this particular account being frozen. Have your secretary or whoever spent... Uh, well, I can't talk to everybody. Oh, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Send a data call to the planetology department. I did not get enough sleep last night. My uh, brain is a complete sieve right now. Uh, thanks, buddy. Great. <laughs> Free money. I'll take it. So, as you can see right now, we have 100 grand, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. There... Seems to be some random mining station. Let's go look at this other mining station. I want to see if we can find a bigger ship, everybody. Or we get some reinforcements to our fleet. And then we'll head out again and see if we can attack some uh, bounties. I need to try and find a military station, I think, to get some bigger ships. Because mostly you're not going to find good ships in random backwater systems. 
Uh, ooh, a Tempest. Oh, it's really broken though. Tempest is probably the most advanced frigate in the game. It is extremely fast and it actually comes with a drone as well. It has a little drone that shoots down missiles for you. It's a really, really cool ship. But alas, it's really broken, so we're not going to pick it up. <laughs> uh, if we ever find one of those without that much damage, we'll definitely buy it. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yay! And a wolf frigate as well. I'm going to get caught by the authorities for sure. But it's not one here. It's just a... Oh, yeah, it's fine then. We're good. Okay, uh, I just bought two ships, and one of them is a Tempest, which is epic. Um, let's see... There's nothing to equip on here. So this ship is... It's got two turrets. It hasn't got... Wait, do we have a ship that has... No, we haven't got any of these yet. So, so far in the game, all my ships are... Um... Oh, no, no, sorry. This place... These ones are turrets. Of course they are. My idiots. Don't worry about it. Each of has a firing arc. Um, so this one we're here is, of course, a front mountain weapon. It only shoots in a straight line, where these can shoot in any of these directions. So this is like a very long range... Not long range... A very mobile and adaptive ship, which can do quite a lot. And like I said, it actually comes with, with some temp Terminator drones attached to it. Uh, we're not gonna, actually going to equip it here, though, because it's not enough equipment. We'll head over to that station over here. And you never know, we want me to get some stuff. Let's hope we can, anyway. Interesting. I thought they were trying to kill me for some reason, but they're not. It's fine. Okay, uh, is there anything here I can equip my ships with? There is, there is, there is, there is. Okay, so I feel like for now, we'll give it a pulse laser and we give it an iron pulser. So it's going to have just two pulse weapons. One's going to be regular energy weapon and one's going to be, uh, this one, sorry, iron damage. I think as well, we'll give it some buffs and stuff. That'll do for me. Okay, I'm happy with this. Actually, it's probably better to... Get rid of this. There you go. This should be a pretty good ship, I think. We might try and fly, actually. Should we just give it a quick shot in the simulator? Let's, let's give it a quick run, shall we? So you can see already, or you might not actually might not be able to tell. Uh, my speed's at 230. That's faster than my wolf frigate. Now, I am currently controlling... Oh, that's a cool weapon. If I press 3, I let the AI control both weapon groups. And look at this damage. This thing is dangerous. I can get a bit closer. There you go. Now, unfortunately, our super, our F ability, which is our special skill for the ship, is just controlling these drones. Wait, what does that do? Oh, it creates it. Oh, it makes it do like a crazy charge attack. Oh, that's so good. That's amazing. Now, because this thing actually, manuf it ha every fighter bay actually manufactures fighters. So eventually, over time, if we wait for a few seconds, there it is, they're back again. So that's epic. It has like some kind of like, I, di I didn't know this was a thing. They must have done this recently. I have like some crazy death. Wait, let's do it one more time. <laughs> I want to see it again. I might use this instead of the, uh, the wolf, actually. We'll see how I feel. We'll, we'll try it one more time. Uh, by the way, it's worth mentioning, every time you use said replacements for fighters it gets slower so you can't just infinitely regenerate fighters it does get slower over time i really want to try this give me let's look the closer get him guys get him oh that's so cool okay i'm i might have to use this ship everybody i might have to use this ship it's it's just too awesome i can't not use it every, it has to happen okay apart from that Oh, interesting. We've got two more Iron Blasters in this location, so we can switch those out. This one is not going to be the most well-equipped uh, ship in the world, but we can at least give it some stuff. Let's give it the... There you go, it's better nothing. It's got a lot of gaps, though, in its build. We can give it something else. We'll give it more movability. Why not? Yeah, it'd be fine. Okay, I think I'm going to use this for now. Let's have a little change of pace, I think. And I want to make sure this ship is commanded by an officer, because I don't want to get killed. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, cool. So that was a good thing for us. We got some upgraded ships that smooth people around a little bit, and done. 
I'm happy with this. We've got quite a little bigger little uh, army going on now, which is pretty cool. Now, I did see before we go anything else, there was a nearby place we can try and run off to with a bounty. So I think we'll do that. I was also going to get myself some... Let's get some crew. Get myself, like, some auxiliary ships for, like, cargo and stuff. But I, I don't think it's going to be worth it at this point. Well, at least with the amount of money i got left, we're not going to be able to afford it. So there's apparently a bounty nearby. He's apparently in a volcanic world in the Penelope's star system. Oh, okay. So this one's very detailed. Like, last time we had to try and figure out where he was, it said, like, it was in a great, uh, what was it, a uh, primary star, I think the hint was. But this one's just telling us he's in this system near a volcanic planet. So it's a lot, lot easier to find. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Okay, so you should literally just be down here. He's not even that far away. Ludic Path Cells. Ludic Path is kind of like a terrorist organization. They attack people, uh, bases and stuff with like large fleets. And they've also got, they got very, very fast ships as well. They haven't got easy ships to deal with. I don't know. It's, well, it's probably the best bit here. Let's go into this one. Volcanic planet, so it'd probably be closer to this star. As you think it would be anyway. Um, let's see. There it is. I presume that's where the man is. Now, I don't think this guy was that strong. Actually, how much money are we going to make? 48 grand. That's definitely worth doing it, but he's not a very strong enemy to fight, I think, with our current fleet. It's quite powerful. Hey, buddy. Let's take this guy down. He's trying to avoid contact. Yeah, this guy's no chance, no chance. What we're going to start doing as well, I'm actually going to start doing control groups later on. But if we find an easy conflict, we don't want to deploy our entire fleet. Because every time we do it, it costs supplies to repair them afterwards. So in the future, we probably should put this as part two as well. <laughs> we'll deploy um, less troops if it's like an easier battle. Okay, let's do this. I'm actually going to let the AI fight for me right now because... Um, I can. <laughs> because I can. Oh, this ship is just so powerful. It's actually fast. 294 speed. Because we got all my buffs now for my carrots and also my fleet. Oh, we are. This is a high. Can we just. Tempest is very powerful. I, I think we mentioned it when we found it. This is a very, very, very high tier uh, frigate. It is extremely good at what it does. Show me you haven't got any like cool weapons you can put on it. Because you can get a lot better weapons than I'm using right now on it as well. Enemy main ship spotted. I'm going to go for its friend first. Let's target that. A little bit of a flyby. This guy is so... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. So much power. That was an easy bounty. That was a very, very easy bounty. Nice. Uh, did I level up? No, I did not. Is there any harder bounties nearby we might be able to grab? So we just did that one. This one's got two destroyers. But he's pretty much the same kind of level, to be honest. How about is there like a place where there's just like a bounty reward instead? No, there's not. There's no there's no bounties in this game right now. <laughs> uh we'll go for this guy then. We will go for this guy. Where is he? He's in a black hole. Oh, it's not, there's two black holes here. Interesting. Anyway, though, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everyone's enjoyed. Uh, we will start wrapping things up because now we're getting a lot of money coming in. We can start buying some bigger ships. And also as well, I think every time you do a bounty, you get you unlock doing larger bounties. So they get harder and harder. Like this one here, for instance, 92 grand. They have giant cruisers, rocket cruiser, fast attack cruiser, uh, massive freighter. They get a lot harder as things ramp up. So we need to keep that in mind as we go along. Anyway, apart from that, everybody, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.